In this video I'll show you how to add trailing zeros to make numbers a specific length in Excel. Let's say for the purpose of this tutorial that you need to convert the values in column A into values that are 6 digits in length by adding zeros. To do this, I will use the repeat text and length functions. In column B, I'll use the following formula. Equals. Then the value in cell A3 followed by an ampersand. The ampersand allows me to append a value to the value in cell A3. Next, I'll add REPT, which is the repeat text function, followed by an opening bracket. The tooltip shows us that the next parameter required is the value we want to repeat. In this case it's a zero, so I'll put a zero within quotes. I'll add a comma before the next parameter, which is the number of times we need to add a zero. If all of the values in column A were of the same length, I would simply put the number of zeros to be added here. However, because the values in column A are of varying lengths, we'll need to add a formula to determine how many zeros need to be added to each value. Since I want all of my values to be 6 digits in length, I'll start with a 6. Now, I'll add a minus because I want to subtract the number of digits in column A to determine how many zeros to add. This is where we can use the len function. To calculate the number of digits in column A, I'll use the len function by adding len and then an opening bracket followed by cell A3. I'll then add two closing brackets to finish the formula. I'll click enter and I can see that my original value of 234 now has three trailing zeros. Now to copy the formula to the remaining rows. Look at that. All of the values in column B are six digits in length with the correct number of trailing zeros added to each one. If you would like to learn how to add or remove leading zeros to values, check out this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.